What's up lovers? How are you doing today? Today I am making a video that uh, I've never made and that is I think something that we need to talk about. I want to talk about unrealistic expectations or destroying the dating market. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna talk about them bitches today or about them, them, them women. They want six feet, six figures, six packs, no kids, good looking, they want everything. Nowadays, they wanna have everything. And in my opinion, it's okay that you have those standards or expectations or your wants, whatever, but you gotta be able to realize how rare those people are gonna be. And because they're rare, they're gonna have hella options. And a lot of women seem to not realize that, yo, this person that you're describing, that's like 1% if that of the population. So you really think you're gonna find that one person, hey, it's good to have hope, but how they be acting is out of control. Also, because women have those expectations, now men are mad at women. They're mad at women because they feel like women ain't shit. You know, for example, on the pineapple show, you guys be mad. The men even go after the show and go arrest the women and go talk shit in the DMs and all that shit which is not necessary. If you're watching and you're one of these people, please stop it. If you didn't like the girl, you don't like what she says, leave her alone, please and thank you. And I'm not here to defend women because I know sometimes they're out of control, but some women really, they don't realize the reality of what it is. They don't realize that what they're asking for is super rare. So in your eyes, you guys, you think that they're mean, and that is just fucked up, blah, 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 they don't deserve and all, you know, I hear you guys, but a lot of women don't think that it's so rare and that that's not what she deserves. It's just really a lack of understanding of the reality we live in. Because trust me, men with those special characteristics that all these women are looking for, they're gonna have hella options because they're rare. And because they're rare, women, when they see that, they're like, oh my God, I need him, I need him. But because of that, he has so many options. And as a man, if I were a man, I'd be like, well, fuck it. Why am I not gonna act up on all my options and have several women or cheat on them or not accept a woman talking back or not accept a woman with kids or uh, older women or women that's not in shape, you know, since they have so many options, now they can be super picky on how they treat them, how many they get and what they do with them, you know? so. It's just fucked up. And, and I'm like, girls, stop going. Not saying that I would go for somebody I don't really like or whatever, but I am pretty flexible on some of the stuff that a man needs to have or that I would like him to have and that he doesn't or whatever. But some of these girls, they're so stuck on this, 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 and that's it. I'm like, yo, you're never gonna get a dude. And even if you find that 1% dude, he's gonna treat you the way that you don't like. Or now, maybe you can deal with it because you, you feel like, well, he has all these qualities. Now I can, uh, if he cheats on me, it's okay. If, if that's the man you really want and that's how he comes, then you're going to be like, okay, well, cheating is okay because I know he's rare. If you're really ready to deal with that, go for it. That, that's your life. In my opinion, social media has really destroyed how men and women see each other because people are just on there comparing their lives to others like you know you see this perfect couple oh couples goals every time i see that shit i'm like shut the fuck up couples go you don't know what's going on it's a cute picture when they're on vacation when they're having a good time maybe five seconds later they were in the room not talking to each other having an argument or whatever you don't know what's going on in people's lives ig is really a place where people broadcast the best of their lives so, and sometimes it's not even the best. It's not even real. It's just like, okay, just smile for the picture. Yeah. <laughs> and then we, we go back to not fucking with each other. So the problem is people tend to think IG is real and that, oh, well, if he doesn't take me out on dates, on fancy dates every day, like, because I see her, he takes her all the time, their relationship. Oh my God. I will. I wish I was in there. Stop fucking comparing because you don't know shit about what they're going through. You don't know, you're just thinking it's all peaches and I don't know, flowers and strawberries and roses, whatever, however you guys say it. It's not real, stop comparing. I do really get women thinking like, well, if he doesn't fly me out, if he doesn't buy me expensive stuff, uh, that means he doesn't like me or that means he's broke. 
you know, you know, all them bitches be like, oh, you broke because you can't do this. I'm like, bitch, go buy yourself the, the fucking bag. Like, why are you looking for a man to buy you that bag when you know damn well the bag is too expensive and that you probably can't even afford it for yourself. At this point, women just want rich people, rich men. And I'm like, yo, it's a really small part of the population who is rich. Why do you think like, oh, I understand you can want it because yeah, the lifestyle is probably nice, but nowadays it's like, oh, you don't make six figures, I don't want you. Excuse me, six figures is hard to make. I don't know why them bitches be thinking like six figures is easy. Especially if you're young too. Like I'm like, how are you gonna be, not saying it's not possible, but like you're 25, 29, and the bitch is expecting you to make 100,000 a year. If you do it, good for you, obviously, great. But how are they expecting that's what it is? And I think it's because they just don't know. I mean, I think they know. Women now just want the luxurious life and they seem to act like they don't see, they don't understand how hard it is to make money when they don't make money themselves. So bitch, you know, it's hard if you don't even make it. So this screenshot shows you how much people make in their age and it's men and women. But if you look at it, the medium of 30 year old is $40,000. 40. So the top 1% is 230K, you know? So these women are out here talking about it needs to make 100,000 at 30 or even younger. And I'm like, uh, bitch, that is not the reality. The medium is 40,000. The 1% of the population in their 30s is making uh, 200 plus. It's only 1% of the population making 200 plus, but you're expecting everybody to be in the six figures. Stop. And that's with everyone. So once you start separating races, you know, that shit is going to start decreasing for some races. So for women to think that at 25 or 25 and up, you need to make that hundred thousand. It's not really possible. It's not saying it's not possible, but it's really crazy. That's not what the, the study shows. That's not what the numbers show. So, Bitches, you need to relax thinking like, oh, it's so easy. Yeah. Oh, you're 30. You need to make a hundred thousand. Bitch, do you make a hundred thousand? And then, you know, after the money, <laughs> which is like, okay, if you want your hundred thousand, it's already nobody in there or not that many people. But, uh, after that you add, um, the height, the hair, how he dresses, does he have kids, all that shit. So the list goes on and on. And now you, you don't even, it's not even 1% that you have, you have like 0.1% like of choice. How do you think you're going to find that? The sad thing is that most women don't even hold themselves to that same standard. Like, do, do you think like they're going to be like, well, I need to make the same amount of money. I need to come with no kids. I need my body to be in shape. I need this. this. No, they're just becoming and thinking they deserve. And I'm like, bitch, why do you deserve? Some of them don't have the money, but they want to do with the money. They want to do with no kids while they have kids. They want a dude that's in shape while they're not in shape. They want to do that's good looking when they're ugly. Like, I mean, not, I don't want to call women ugly, but you, you know what I mean? It's like, they don't have that for themselves, but they expect the men to have all these requirements. A lot of women don't even know what the medium is. So hopefully some of them bitches, some of them women are looking, but women sometimes are oblivious. They feel like, well, a hundred thousand is a minimum. Like that's what they need to make because, uh, you know, in this economy, you need to make a hundred thousand, but they're not aware that the medium is uh, $40,000 when you're 30. They're not aware. So for them to just pop out with that number, six figures, we're like, Wait, you know, that's not reality, bitch. But a lot of bitches don't believe in reality. And I'm not trying to make excuses for them bitches because they don't know, but it's like they live in a fantasy. Nowadays, making 80,000 is like really good. Really good if you're in your th 20s, 30s, it's really good. But then women at this number, the six figures, like 100K, is because they're not in touch with reality. And maybe I am more in touch with it because I do research and I see numbers and I'm like, oh yeah, they're, they're, they're a little delusional, but still like, I'm not sitting here expecting a man to make a certain amount as long as you're good and you're not broke and you can leave and, you know, enjoy yourself sometimes, not all the time, you know, but I don't know. I just don't know why these women, I think, I really think it's Instagram and yeah, women believe they deserve. 
these uh, women see IG and we see those rappers those celebrities like posting like those crazy vacations crazy uh clothes cl crazy cars and bitches be taking that as face value like it's reality it's reality for everybody no it's reality for them celebrities who has that crazy amount of money but most people are not celebrities most people don't make that crazy amount of money so come down bitch also another point i want to bring out is that we got to see how people grew up because maybe to you making 10,000 a month is something crazy and it's so good, but maybe for them, it's like, it's nothing depending on how they grew up. I know I grew up in a family where we were hella poor. So making 10,000 a month, I'm like, yo, we're rich. We're rich making 10,000 a month. But, um, for some, they just feel like, well, that's regular. Like my mom worked two jobs. And my dad was an entrepreneur. So, you know, the money was up and down. You never knew, but I, I come from a household where they both worked and money was still tight. So now when I see a man, I'm not thinking he's going to take care of me. I'm like, I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to bring my money. He's going to bring his money and we're going to try to make it work. We're going to try to have a good life. But then bitches nowadays, they see like, oh no, I need to be taken care of. You know, they're so not traditional but they want to keep the tradition with it on this part oh yeah take care of me that's the good tradition that we're going to keep so probably because of my upbringing i have a good sense of how money is and how uh it's hard to get i remember some some years i couldn't go play in the club uh volleyball because we didn't have the money to to pay the tuition or we would have the city help us to pay some of them shits, you know so for women to just act like money falls from the sky I'm like, yo, <laughs> what's going on? Maybe some people just don't have a good notion of money. And it's, it's sad because some women would write you off just because you don't make that hundred K while you have all the other, um, requirements, you know? So in a way it's really sad and stupid. Like they're missing out on good dudes just because the dude is not rich. I'm like, are you serious? Like that's the values that you are valuing. Like that's the most important to you. It is it, just weird. And I get it. We all want to have an easy life, a lavish life, like where we don't have to really count on the, uh, for the money that we have. You know, I, I get that. Cause I would like that too. I would like to, oh, let's go do this. And we don't gotta worry about money. Who wouldn't? But then with those crazy expectations, you might just end up alone. And as long as the bitch is fine ending up alone, well, go for it. But hey, that's how the market is right now and it's pretty fucked up. Also, okay, I know I'm talking a lot today, but I want to put those points across, you know. Like, for example, um, I think it's really fucked up that, you know, this society and nowadays how we, we see everything is like money, money, money. We need to get more money, more money. I know money really helps alleviate some of the headaches, some of the fears that you might have, you know, by not being able to pay your bills and all, because I, I get that. But if I take myself as an example, when I was younger and I wasn't making as much money, I think I was as happy. I'm not happier now because I'm making more money. Like I could pay my bills. I wasn't struggling when I, when I'm talking about younger, when I was uh, already taking care of myself, not like growing up with my parents. But when I was working, I was making enough money to pay my bills, go have a little fun here and there, nothing extravagant, but I was happy. And now I'm comparing to now, I'm making way more money than I was making before. But when I sit down and really think about it, I'm like, am I happier? No, it's not happier. I'm still happy, but it's not happier. So that's why I think people really have it messed up thinking like, you know, the money is going to make you happier yes it helps because you can do more stuff and but again the happiness is really from within i know i sound cliche saying that but it's really from within it's cool to be able to go do cool stuff but you go home and then you sit and you're like it's the same you you're happier the same that's why it's not all about the money it's about the people that you surround yourself with it's about having a passion having goals and all of that so for women to date just in mind with like how much money he makes it sounds crazy and having all these requirements is he tall enough yeah it's cool he's tall but is he stupid and is he selfish he's not supportive 
like, I don't care. I prefer somebody short that is supportive and that's funny and that we have a good time. Oh, in conclusion, because I know I've been talking hella, it's just like dating is a hot mess. And if you are trying to date, it's tough. So brace yourself. And I totally understand people who are like, fuck them bitches. And the, the, the girls who are like, well, fuck them dudes, you know, cause it's tough out here. It's super tough because it's like, especially for a guy, it's like you work, you make 50 K a year and you can pay all your bills. You can go to dinners here and there. And a the bitch look at you like you're broke. I'm like, bitch, shut the fuck up. How is he broke? He's paying all these bills and having a good time when, when he wants to. How is that broke? Right, so that's it. I was talking shit about bitches, but you know, you guys be doing some dumb shit too and you get shit to work on. But today I was on the bitches and how they're money hungry and how it's fucking up the dating market and uh, those expectations. I don't know. Yeah, some of them don't know. IG fucked up a lot of shit and I don't know. But hey, good luck to you if you're still single. I hope you haven't lost hope and you're still trying to get a, a good woman by your side because I'm telling you, having somebody in your life that um, have those values, that supports you, that, you know, it's, it's really amazing. All right. You can like, share, comment. You can follow me on Instagram at Meli Little Vixo, Meli Monaco, Meli Motors. You can also subscribe to my Patreon at Meli Monaco. No, that's not it. At www.patreon.com slash Meli Monaco. And also, you know, I have some channels. I have the Pineapple Show channel. I have a Meli Motors channel. You can check those out too. Everything is in the description. All right, guys, I love you. And I hope, I hope you're finding somebody. I hope you haven't given up on love. All right, guys, I love you. I love you for sure. I know that's not enough, but I love you. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon soon.